Welcome back, Regina Sailing family and friends, for a really short episode because this is just to add the Polaris, which is so easily done. You just add it on the template for the Twilight. The most important thing with Twilight shooting is, of course, to calculate the Twilight and then you can choose whatever you like. The Polaris has something to do with the areas. It's a star, so we put it here. And uh, all we do is that we put the latitude, it already says LAT there, our assumed latitude in that table here, because that's approximately what we're going to measure, plus or minus one degree. And that is just to uh, find it in the star, uh, in the sky. And actually, it's so easy to find in the sky, so you could just look up and take it down like just like you do with the sun. But if you're not pretty sure which height it is, just say put in your latitude here and your approximate latitude um, in the morning is about uh, 36 degrees and 47 minutes. Your approximate latitude here in the evening is 35 degrees and 25 minutes. And that's really all. How about the azimuth? Well, I've already said it's 360 degrees because it's pointing to the north. It's so easy. It's all that you can find it. Then, when we have found all these, because this is still only planning, when we have found all these planets, planets, the stars, uh, then we can now go up and shoot at uh, 6 o'clock 58 minus 20 minutes maybe, and stay on deck until 6.58 plus 20 minutes. That's approximately what it normally the window that you have to play around with. And you should be very prepared. So you have the six P's, as you might remember. Six P's, proper preparation prevents pathetically poor performance. So this is all prepared. So all you do is that you might begin here in the uh, morning when it's still quite dark. You take the weakest star first. You remember um, here we had, these were all very bright, I think, but I remember the Hamel was not so bright. So you start here, you end with the Hamel here, you start in the morning with the not so bright uh, stars. And then as you approach sunrise, you can then quickly take the Polaris uh, before you lose it, because that's easy to found and very bright. And in the very end, for like the, uh, maybe the Jupiter, because that is very bright as well, because it's a planet. So now, now we are done with the preparation. So now it's um, time to go and shoot. So why don't we prepare the moon, by the way? Well, the moon, ah, I don't like the moon. It's very beautiful, it's very pretty, but it's so much work to calculate and you can do much, so much wrong. It's part of the uh, course, of course, so it will come after the, uh, the shooting. Uh, so let's just go and uh, shoot. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to prepare, pretend. So we go up at 658 approximately and we shoot these. And for that sake, I have another template. So see you tomorrow morning at about uh, 22.7 in the morning UTC. Mm -hmm.